for us here over TV. Check it out. I'm in Tillamook at the Elks RV Park. This is probably the best place <laughs> I've been to. Got a little bit of blue sky. It is rain, cats and dogs. Last couple days. Check out the elk. They got 60 sites here, but you gotta be as a private. You gotta be a member. Look at the elk. Hey, buddy. Anyway, it's time to do an update. I've been just uh, traveling and uh, filming and uh, editing. So, let's go to the van. I'll get inside and we're gonna do a little update on where we've been and also future. Uh, trying to map out what I want to do now. The weather has just kind of really had me uh, buffaloed here. So let's uh, get an update and I'll be back. I'm back. Welcome to the inside of the van. Yay. You know, speaking of the van, I've had this question a few times. How is it? I've been in here way over a month and, you know, I love it. It's great to travel in. I mean, you can stop anywhere, sit on the couch, make this into a bed, take a nap, you know, get on the laptop, watch TV, whatever you want to do, make something to eat. Uh, but when the weather's bad, vans are great to stay in a little bit at night. This matter of fact, this couch bed's really comfy, but you're supposed to be out there. And I have just hit the weather. Now, I know it's a coast. I understand. I lived in California almost 30 years. I understand all that. But with my luck this trip, ever since I hit L.A., I mean, even in Sacramento, uh, it was nothing but rain, fog, wind, and cold. And pretty much all the way up the California coast. Once I finally got into Oregon, the weather kind of broke for a few days. And that's where you've seen a lot of these videos. I mean, it's and isn't the scenery phenomenal? Oh, huh. unreal. I'm having a time of my life. I mean, just filming and editing and all that. You know, I'm not one to throw out a chair and grab a book and read it. I'm one to stop, throw out a camera, <laughs> and start filming, and then going on to the next one. You know, that's me. That's what I like, and that's how I like to travel. I'm not one to stop and smell the roses too long. But anyway, in a van, you're supposed to be outside a lot of the time. With this weather, I've been stuck inside. So it's been a little, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't even know the right, the right word. It's been a little challenging. <laughs> we'll put it that way. But all in all, it's been great. Also, I noticed, too, uh, some of the places you stay, they don't allow conversion vans like this. Uh, campgrounds, they don't care. But RV parks, no way. You know, there, there are several places where you cannot stay in one of these. Someone also asked me about Walmart. No way. I've done the Walmart thing in motorhomes, trailers. And to me, that is not... What um that's not what I'm trying to do. I, I don't want to stay in a Walmart parking lot. My goal is not to stay at some place that is just because it's free. I want to stay somewhere where I got a scenery, ocean, and a view, and that's the whole goal of this trip. And that should be for most RV trips. I mean, you can do both, and uh, but that's what I like to do, and that's what this is about. So. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the trip continuing. Okay, here we are, Google Maps, my favorite. Okay, h here I am right here. I'm in this Tillamook, Oregon Elks Lodge campground. This place is nice, man. There's 60 sites. It is private. Uh, you know, you got to be an Elks member. But that is, this has been the nicest place I've ever stayed at an Elks Lodge ever. Unreal. Okay, tomorrow in the morning, I'm leaving here. I'm out of here. I've been here a couple days. Also, realize the videos are a few days behind. Uh, time I film, edit, 
and get them out, they're two, three, four days behind. So you're not real time on the videos. Not too far off, but it's not real time. Okay, anyway, real quick. Tomorrow I'm hitting the Air Museum. Then I'm going into Tillamook. I'm going to do the Tillamook Creamery. And also the Blue Heron, wherever it is. It's in here somewhere. There's another cheese place right here. And uh, so I'm going to film those. And then I'm heading straight out of town after that. We're going straight north up to 101. Um, the next place I'm going to stay, Nehalem Bay State Park. That'll be the following night. Along the way, I might stop. I uh, Three years ago, I was at this uh, Garibaldi right here. And uh, there's a little harbor. I might stop and get a cup of coffee. That was a really cool little place with a bunch of boats. If I have time, I'll stop and film that. Then I'm going to stay at the Nehalem Bay State Park. I got reservations there. Then after Nehalem, that's only a one-nighter. I will stay there and also film that park. I'm heading straight north. We're going to go all the way up. Let me find it here. Fort Stevens State Park. And my goal is to drive to this very end right here. And hopefully I can even fly the drone. <laughs> but you can't get any farther north in Oregon on the coast than that. And then uh, that's one night there. And then from there into Astoria across the bridge. Now when I get into Washington... I don't know what I'm going to do yet, if I'm going to continue on north or if I'm going to start trucking east. Uh, one thing uh, is concerning is budget. I've really gone way over on the fuel. You know, I started mapping this pl uh, trip out back in February, and I've been hitting summertime prices. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to kind of kick it around. I'm definitely going to go into Washington somewhat. But whether I go all the way north, I don't know yet. But I'll determine that. Once you see the video of uh, after Fort Stevens, the next one will be an update with all that info. Because I'm working on that plan right now. Okay, moving on. All right, just keep in mind, no matter what I do, we still got a couple months of summer. <laughs> I mean, this thing hasn't stopped. I mean, it's just, it started, but... It's going to keep going. RV there yet, 2019 Summer Travels. Also, I want to personally thank everyone that's uh, uh, supported the channel with that Buy Me a Cup of Coffee app. That's helped a lot. Uh, if you do do that, I send you a free gift online, digital gift. So uh, thank you all for doing it. Anyone wants to, the link is down in the description. All right, also hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of future videos. This is Russ. I got drone footage coming up right now. Take care. Talk soon.